wanted to answer that the pastor put up. Oh, my God. Going to hell. When you were a baby, you loved your pacifier. What do you love sucking on now? A nipple. Oh, Jesus, help me. And the pastor says, a nipple. What do you do for a living, man? I'm a pastor right now, Steve. I'd order maid service every week if the maids wore what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm a pastor. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on in here, girl. I got some baby oil. What's the name of y'all church? I'm signing up Paul Sunday. Paul Church. Yeah. Ricardo, what's happening, man? Good, how are you? Good. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an educator, um, and I recently became an ordained minister. That's my wife. I make her call Jesus on Saturday night and take her to see him on Sunday morning. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Pretty Ricky. <laughs> Name something at the playground that would be a sexy place to make love. A slide. I'm gonna say the seesaw. <laughs> All right, Pastor Al. I right, go down there, you come down here. Come down here. Let the church say amen. Amen. Name a part of your lover's body you'd like to eat a chocolate mold of. How about that booty? Good David is in the theology college. Making a mold of that girl's booty is what your future pastor just came up with. <laughs> when people talk about the big one, what might they be referring to? You know, I'm going to have to go with orgasm. Oh! Hey, my dad's a pastor. That's how we got here. Orgasm! Yeah. Orgasm! <laughs> Your dad's out there? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, Emma. Wesby? That's me. Good. What do you do, man? I'm a minister in Los Angeles. I go into the prison system. I minister to the men and let them know that God still loves them. Name something a stripper might have a picture on her business card. A picture with her stage name. Like a stage name like what? Pretty Kitty. <laughs> Pretty Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, about to get interesting now. Name something some people like to have on when they're making love. How about a costume? Ooh, like, you know, nurses, uniform. Nurses, oh, uniform. You know, so Usher. Like... Ever come in as a choir member? <laughs> in front of his lap when the zipper breaks. Steve, I'm gonna say a cup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ain't nobody gonna notice nothing now. You know when you at the club and you have a drink in your oh, hand? Oh, well, hold up, Pastor. But okay. I'm not at the club, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hey, Angie. Hi, Steve. Good, good. What do you do first? Well, I pass gas all day long. And it's good gas, Steve. It's good. It's real good. <laughs> Anesthesia providers in Marietta. So we passed Oh, anesthesia. Yeah. Oh, is this your wife? Hey, man, just hang in there. It's gonna be all right. Pray I'm for me, Steve. Pray right. for me. Father God, in the name! Yes. Woo. Jack, what do you do, man? I'm a preacher, Steve. <laughs> I don't know where this church at, but doggone it, before I leave this world, I bet I go. What do you do for a living, man? I'm a youth uh, leader at our church, Open Life Fellowship in Snellville, Georgia. Name a fruit or vegetable you might use in the kitchen and the bedroom. Careful, Pastor. Bananas. Chocolate-covered right, bananas. Now, so let's just get this out the way. What's the name of this church you at now? Open Life Fellowship. All right, everybody down at Hope and Life Fellowship. <laughs> Big Patrick working with bananas. <laughs> Name something that droops. Testicles. Now, Pastor. Yes, sir, Steve. This answer could have only come from you. This answer, <laughs> listen to me, came from right here. Your testicles! Yeah. Yeah. Name something a person might do while being kissed. Reggie. Get aroused. Get aroused. All right now. Right on there, Pastor. <laughs> Lift him up. Where's this church at now? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be the fastest growing church in the country. <laughs> Only, what do you do, sir? I am a full-time pastor, Steve, but yeah. every single day of my life, people come up to me and call me Steve Hart. <laughs> yeah. You're actually a little better looking than I am. <laughs> Name someone who uses a paddle. An s and person? Like a sex toy? <laughs> Pastor, First Lady, where they get that no, answer from? They say, I don't even know what it is. Name a part of his body that Captain Hook has to be careful scratching when he has an itch. His balls. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. These are preacher's kids, folks. <laughs> Frank, name someone who's seen your bare bottom. My friends, when we went skinny dipping. 
Pastor, let me ask you something. Yeah. What friends you talking about? You know. No, I don't know. Good, good friends? The good friends. Good friends. It's just yeah. out down at the creek naked. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you're hot yeah. in here. Name a place where a woman has the best chances of finding a man to marry. USA. Club. Look at the answer that the pastor put up. The club. Name a place where a woman has the best chance of finding a man to marry. Church. Yeah, I don't know how you missed that one, Pastor. <laughs> that show better not be number one. <laughs> Reverend Pastor Bishop Joe, name a place you might hear someone say, I love those buns. At the beach. Checking out the buns at the beach with the pastor. Don't look at it, though. <laughs> Other than in bed, where's the most romantic place to make love? Kitchen. Car? <laughs> Norman is the pastor of a church. Well, All these is they can One of y'all came from backseat of a Chevy. <laughs> Sharp, yeah, hey, what do you Steve? do for a living, man? I'm a preacher at Faith Christian Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Name something women like to squeeze, pastor. They're... Rest. What's something women like to squeeze? Not you. <laughs> They'll breast. Good answer, Pastor. Good answer. And as a Good pastor, answer. Good answer. Good answer. when we come together <laughs> and we join in fellowship, hoping that we will all get delivered to the promised land. <laughs> What do you do, Miss Wong? I work in insurance, Steve. Well, my passion is missionary work. A cowboy exotic dancer might only wear his blank on stage. A thong, Steve. Oh, somebody been doing some missionary work with the chipping dance. <laughs> yeah. Big Al, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Steve. What do you do for a living, Al? Steve, I'm a preacher. Most pastors don't call themselves Big Al, though. That must have to do with your previous life. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Before you was a pastor, yeah, you yeah, were Big yeah. Al. Big Al at the club. <laughs> Name a reason that you are tied up with a rope. Sex. <laughs> you have a PhD in what? Public health, and I'm a first lady. That's my wife. What's your pastor? I'm the pastor. Tied up, <laughs> waiting on the Lord. <laughs> come on, tie me before he come back in. Oh, I'm tied up. Father Matt. Yes, I'm Father Matt. I'm at St. Isidore Parish in Bloomingdale, Illinois. My favorite hobby is to dance. I am a pastor of Upper Room Fellowship Church. I'm married to such a wonderful man, but uh, we share our bed with four stuffed animals. Miss Teresa, why I look like you fit in the crack? Well, see, sometimes they do get in the way. Tell me something a woman might have to give up to save her marriage. Her boyfriends. Her bo <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> for living here. Currently an insurance agent. I'm also an ordained minister. Name something you'd be shocked to see Grandma riding. I'm gonna say Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> ministers show sure have changed, ain't they? They got clubs now. They do riding Grandma jokes. <laughs> well, Pastor, if grown men trick-or-treated, name something they want in the bag. I'm gonna go with blow-up doll. Church is a lot more progressive. <laughs> Megan, tell me something you put in your mouth but you don't swallow. Wow. <laughs> oh, still probably go to heaven. Just to name some people pick out ahead of time so their funeral would be fabulous. The you better pray. Come down for higher ground. Oh, Lord, I'm seeking for that golden crown. You know I can't remain on this earthly plane. I'm bound for higher ground. Ask him a nickname. What's his nickname? This is the Reverend Wood. The what? The Reverend Wood. Oh, <laughs>